Hey everyone, it's Anomalous here. Uh, I'm going to be testing out uh, the Twitch streaming, and with that, uh, I've tried gaming and now I'm going to try something a little different, and that's going to be radiology, the other passion of mine. So sorry it's not D3, but stick around, we're going to be doing some ACR case in points, and hopefully you don't watch me get too owned by these, because they can be kind of tough. Here we go. So this is a case of a patient with a history of breast cancer and known liver mass on previous radiologic examinations uh, pre uh, presents for follow-up imaging. So which of the following should be included in the differential diagnosis? And let's blow this up just a bit. So you can see here in the liver there is still defined uh, mixed heterogeneously echoic mass, uh, maybe some areas of hyperechogenicity, maybe calcification, some fluid, perhaps maybe in the middle. Tough to say exactly what this is, uh, but looks messy, could be, uh, looks enough to favor malignancy if, uh, without giving these choices, so probably say HCC, FNH, metastatic disease, a simple cyst or a hepatic cyst would look a little more, uh, would look a little simpler. So the grayscale ultrasound image demonstrates a heterogeneously hyperechoic lesion within the liver. Although hepatocellular carcinomas are typically hypoechoic on ultrasound, these lesions may appear hyperechoic in the setting of fatty metamorphosis and or hypervascularity. The most common appearance of FNH on ultrasound is a homogeneous and isoechoic mass. However, FNH is, may appear hyperechoic in the presence of fat. Metastatic disease of the liver may result in a myriad of findings on ultrasound, hypervascular metastases, and metastases from primary malignancies of the GI tract, among others, may appear hyperechoic. The classic appearance of a hepatic cyst is an anechoic lesion with acoustic enhancement and no visible wall. Although hepatic cysts may be complicated by hemorrhage or infection and thus appear heterogeneous, these lesions will still demonstrate acoustic enhancement, which is not present in this case. So a review of the axial CT images from a liver mass protocol examination in the following order. Non-contrast, arterial phase, portal venous phase, and delayed phase. Regarding the appearance of this lesion, evaluate the following statements, true or false. So here in the left lobe of the liver on this non-contrast, you see it's uh, somewhat partially circumscribed, uh, kind of again, heterogeneously dense mass. On arterial phase, it does have some, again, it's certainly some arterial enhancement. Mm, question will wash out there. And here is, I think that's the delayed. It looks like these are uh, isoechoic, or excuse me, isodense to the surrounding liver. Hypodense on the non. It's true. And iso. Yeah, I'd say so. In the portal venous phase, this is hypodense. Yeah, I'd say that's true too. Isodense. What's hypodense? or less dense in the liver parenchyma. Okay, luckily I got those. Doing okay so far. Oh, a little tougher now. On MR, T1 in phase, T2 out of phase. You got that India ink artifact. Lesion is iso-intense to slightly hyper-intense relative to the liver on the T1. Iso, tense, yeah, slightly hyper, yeah. Lesion becomes hypo. Hmm, hypo intense on out of phase. That's true. Well, it becomes hypo, it can't be the third one. The central scar enhances following administration contrast. Mm, uh, maybe a little. Here, and it's hyper intense. Questionable. Uh, this is. 
not completely sure. Okay, maybe it is. That's good. Doing okay so far. Rickdane's biopsy revealed facting FNH regarding FNH. Evaluate the following statements. It is. It, I believe so. It is a uh, focal nodular hyperplasia. Hepatic adenoma is probably uh, the most common. I think I got the rest right. So the transverse image from the grayscale ultrasound demonstrates a heterogeneous lesion, like I kind of described earlier. And then the rest of the CT characteristics we went through the questions. Hypo and hypo dense. Kind of uh, iso dense now with arterial enhancement. Hypo dense. And again, hypo dense relative liver on the late phase. Iso intense on this. Iso, maybe a little hyper intense on this T1. On out of phase. Uh, it shows loss of signals, yes, consistent with presence of fat. Now they talked about the enhancement. I was wondering, I wasn't completely, but you know what, looking at retrospectively, I kind of suspect and kind of thought these tiny little bright spots are certainly enhancement. And that tiny little bit, I wasn't sure either, but uh, now, the more I think about it now, I'm glad I picked what pick, because it was right. That is certainly central. A uh, hyper intensity. It's a fat containing focal nodular hyperplasia of the liver, FNH. FNH is the second most common benign neoplasm in the liver that is typically discovered incidentally on radiologic examination such as ultrasound, CT, or MRI. Patchy areas of fat within FNH is maybe associated with unusual tumor characteristics such as larger lesions, multifocality, and presence of a central scar. The presence of fat in FNHs may result in imaging characteristics different from those typically exhibited by these lesions. Focal nodular hyperplasia is a benign neoplasm of the liver that most commonly affects middle-aged women. After hepatic hemangioma, FNH is the second most common tumor in the liver with an incidence of 1-3%. to Sorry, I think I thought it was adenoma, but it certainly is hepatic hemangioma. FNHs are characterized by proliferation of non-neoplastic hepatocytes and often demonstrate a central stellate region of fibrosis and anomalous arteries. Hey, that's me. These benign neoplasms are usually incidentally discovered on radiologic studies such as ultrasound, CT, and MRI. The imaging characteristics of FNHs are well described in the literature. On ultrasound, FNHs typically appear homogeneous and isochoic to the hepatic parenchyma in the presence of significant mass effect or bulge in the liver contour, it may, be, it may be difficult to distinguish these lesions from the normal liver. A central scar may be identified. Interrogation with color Doppler may demonstrate the spoke wheel pattern of a large central artery and numerous small vessels radiating peripherally. FNHs typically appear hypodense or isodense to hepatic parenchyma on non-contrast CT. Following the administration of intravenous contrast, FNHs demonstrate intense contrast enhancement in the arterial phase and become hypodense or isodense to the hepatic parenchyma in the portal venous phase and isodense to the hepatic parenchyma on delayed imaging. The central scar usually enhances on delayed imaging. On T1-weighted MRI, FNHs are isointense to slightly hypointense relative to the liver, and the central scar is hypointense. On T2-weighted MRI, FNHs are isointense to slightly hyperintense, and the central scar is hyperintense. The enhancement patterns are similar to those of CT. On liver-specific contrast imaging, there is homogeneous contrast enhancement retention of contrast on delayed imaging, and significant enhancement of the central scar. Intratumoral steatosis is rare and typically patchy in distribution. It may or may not be found in association with hepatic steatosis. Lesions 
containing fat may be larger in size and demonstrate features such as multifocality and the absence of a central scar. On ultrasound, regions of fat will appear hyperechoic. On CT, fat will manifest as hypo hypodense regions within the mass, as in this case, regions of fat appear hyperintense on free contrast in phase T1 weighted images and hypointense on pre contrast out of phase T1 images. The presence of fat is best demonstrated with MRI and should not, be, should not confound the diagnosis, however, biopsy may be performed, as in this case, if other diagnoses need to be excluded. Okay, thanks to those wonderful guys at the University of Tennessee. I didn't do too bad. Except uh, not knowing that. Good case, great case. So thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully I'll just put up a clip, more of a test clip than anything, to see how this uh, streaming thing works. Uh, in the background is Two Steps From Hell. Uh, and thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.